Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Dana, I'm a mama to four. And on my channel, I love sharing our homeschooling journey, simple living and motherhood. But if that is something that interests you, I'd love to have you join our family and you can do so by subscribing down below. So as you can tell from the title down below, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 25 gift picks for 25 and under on Amazon. If you saw my last video, I was sharing with you a lot of our favorite kind of unplugged gift ideas. And this is going to be the same type of a video where you're not gonna see any toys with the batteries or not a lot of toys with that excess plastic, if you know what I mean. So just very simple unplugged gift ideas. And do keep in mind that I am, when I put together these wish list type things for myself, like my oldest is a first grader so everything in this list is really geared towards that first grader kindergartner and then toddler type type thing so anyway let's go ahead and jump into today's video so my first pick is actually something that I had in mind for my first grader. It is a game called Coggy. This is a brain teaser. It's kind of like these little magnetic circles. I'm gonna insert some pictures here, but they're little magnetic little circles and they're like gears. So you kind of have to put them in a shape according to what the card tells you to do with them. And not just like the order, but the actual color sequence and things like that. So it's all about getting your mental gears spinning with bending, clicking, and shape shifting. So I love this. And then some of the benefits that it mentions that this does is it strengthens the visual spatial skills Skills, which is very important. It challenges your critical thinking and logic skills and things like that. So this is a great, great game, especially for the little years. Really honestly, it says the ages are from six to 12 years old. So, and I think honestly, me as an adult would enjoy playing this because I do love mind puzzles as well. So I thought this would be a great addition for him. And we are getting ready to take a little road trip. So this is one of those things where I might end up grabbing specifically to take on that road trip. It is magnetic, they all kind of stick together. So it's something that I can know it's not gonna end up all over the van. <laughs> So I had that in mind. And then my next pick that I also had my first grader and honestly kindergartner in mind as well when I did save this, and that is Speed Stacking Cups. Now when I was a kid, these were like huge. They were everywhere. I don't even know if they have speed stacking like competitions anymore or anything, I don't really know. But all I know is that they are still available. And if your kiddos have never done them, I highly recommend trying Speed Stacks. They are so, so much fun. All it is is a group of cups and it really is a fantastic hand-eye coordination activity, especially especially great for, like I said, that kindergarten first grade level. And honestly, even your toddler and my two year old could easily play with these by slowly stacking them up. But because the whole idea is like switching hands and alternating, your hand-eye coordination has to be very, very good. And the reason why I wanted to suggest the speed cups is not only just a fun game, but it is a great, great mental exercise if your little ones are struggling with their reading speeds because their mind is having to literally concentrate on what comes next like super, super quickly. It is a great activity kind of boost that as well to where if your kiddos are struggling with either reading speeds or things like that you can do so many more things to help kind of like their brain speed things along than just read the words so this is a great activity for that and I first learned about that little method um, when I was a kid actually and I went to a little workshop at a homeschooling convention and they were talking about speed stacks and all the benefits of using, using speed stacks and I do remember that being one of them so I wanted to share that with you it's not only a fun game it's a competitive game so siblings can have a ton of fun doing Doing it. I loved doing these growing up. I loved it. And so I want to share that with you again if you are wanting something that is a game, educational, but has great, great benefits, especially if you have the little people. <laughs> My next gift pick, and this is specifically for my toddler, she loves songs, she loves music, and anything that I can find that really helps bring her favorite songs to life, I love kind of giving to her as either gifts or just something fun for no reason at all. But one of her favorite songs is of course the Five Little Ducks song, and I loved this little yellow duck stuffed animal with the five babies. I love this, so I can really see her really just enjoying this and making that song come to life. And the other thing that I got with her in mind is she actually loves the pole toys that she kind of like pulled around the house. She has got a dog. She also has like the Melissa and Doug frog as well as like a little hape. I think the company's hape, yes. It's a little dog and then a pig from that company. But I got, and there's the other frog here that looked really, really cute. It, the mouth opens and shuts and everything, but the string on it is a little bit longer than her typical pool toys. So I wanted to see if I could grab this. This one is, a, again, it's Hape. I love that company. They do have fairly good quality toys. Not fairly good, they do have good quality toys. Honestly, better quality than Melissa and Doug. And so I am probably gonna end up getting that. It's only $10.99 but she adores any type of whole toy that she can just take with her everywhere. So I like that. And then another kind of baby toddler thing, of course, when this little one <laughs> is older, I could, I could see her really loving this, but this is like a baby sensory toy. It's like a pull string 
sphere almost and honestly it's like a little planet with like little things on it anyway i'll insert pictures so you know what i'm talking about but this is a wonderful activity for fine motor skills it's honestly a great activity for it's a very quiet activity too so you can take it to church or you can do it for again a road trip coming up here that we have i might end up picking that up for her and then speaking of road trip i wanted to also mention another gift idea again for my toddler <laughs> and that is this little penguin and on the penguin i believe there's like six little buckles and they you can like open and shut the buckles first of all it's a pretty good size little penguin and so i got that one in mind for i actually did purchase that for our upcoming road trip i already have it here but it's little buckles and i thought that would be a fun activity for her she loves penguins and has a little pouch in the back to put little things in it on top of just all the little buckles to kind of open and close so i thought that would be a great great road trip activity for her and again it is in that under 25 dollars price point so as i mentioned many times before on my channel i love the imagination patterns however the actual imagination patterns brand or I don't even know what brand it is. I'll see if I can insert a picture of the one I have and I love it. The quality is fantastic. However, there is one from Fat Brain Toys. It is very, very similar. It's pretty much identical. Now, not all the shapes are the same, but it is $24.95. And again, with Black Friday coming up, you'll probably be able to get everything I'm listing here for a, even a greater deal than the under $25. But this is $24.95, so it's <laughs> at the top of that budget. Um, but this is the, again, Fat Brain Toys. It's the Magnetic Creation Station. It's like an arts and crafts thing, but it's also the exact same thing as the Imagination Patterns, which I love. And so my little kids love it too. And I will mention if you do have like a road trip coming up or anything like that, that anything magnetic that you can actually put together, whether that be puzzles or activities is fantastic because like I mentioned before, the pieces are not gonna fly, fly everywhere in the car. So a favorite puzzle of ours, and this is honestly a puzzle that even though my kiddos have done over and over again, they still choose to do it over and over again but this is the Melissa and Doug search and find beneath the waves floor puzzle my kindergartner especially loves this puzzle it is actually fairly challenging for it being a floor puzzle because the pieces are shaped differently if that makes sense but we love it and one of her favorite things of course is the fact that after it's all built it's actually a pretty long puzzle that after it's all built you can actually like it's like a search and find thing so it's definitely a different twist on a typical floor puzzle there's actually like the search and find thing which if you are new here my kids love anything search and find so that was a really fun one and then one of the basic things that I do try to get almost every single year for Christmas and this is actually not in my wish list it's in my shopping cart and that is the Crayola model magic just the primary colors modeling clay my kiddos love love sculpting things and modeling things I have tried to make every salt dough, every like cold ceramic, every like baking soda dough. How, and this is totally off topic, but I think the baking soda and cornstarch mixture is probably one of my all-time favorites as far as like making things and having it not crack when it's done. Anyway, the the actual Crayola Model Magic is definitely one of my favorites. Again, I've tried so many different brands and nothing really compares to this one in particular. It is, again, slightly pricey, but again, I can't find anything else that does the same thing. So that's definitely a top pick. You can get a big tub of it for $22.47 right now, but again, it will probably be cheaper on Black Friday this weekend. My next pick, and this is for both my kindergartner and first grader, that is the National Geographic Kids Paper Making Kit. Now I grew up, we used to make our own paper. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness, it's one of my favorite activities. My older sister had a really good sized paper mill. And so we would make paper, we would gather recycled magazines, and she would even go outside and gather flowers and we press it into the paper and make our own stationery. And it was just such a fun activity. And I wanted my kids to kind of experience that as well. Because I remember it being so fun, actually making your paper, letting it dry, and then drawing on it, like writing letters on it. It was like, what? It's so cool. <laughs> It is really, really cool. Like if your kiddos have never experienced making their own paper by using recycled materials, I highly recommend this. It's honestly probably one of my top five gift picks overall because it is just such a fun, fun activity. Highly recommend you try it if you have not. And then another actual kit that I favorited here from National Geographic is this Mega Fossil Dig Kit. And I got this one specifically in mind for my first grader. He adores all things rocks and whole collect rocks and he's got rocks everywhere, rocks in his pocket they dump out in the washing machine like there's just rocks everywhere <laughs> they are his greatest treasures anyway but he doesn't have a lot of like actual fossil things so i thought this would be a great addition to add on to his like little rock collection so to speak because they are just there's a ton of fun 
Moving on for my kindergartner, I have favorited this Kids Explorer kit. Now my little guy has a couple kits of these and I believe he has this brand, yes, but it is a little bit higher than the 25 price point. It's $27.89. The only reason why I'm sharing this is because it would be a top, top pick for my daughter because she wants the exact same thing her older brother has, only she wants it in pink version, like a pink form. So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> we'll have to see here. but. She and her brother, like all summer long, will go out in the yard, the backyard, wherever, and pretend like they're camping. They'll haul out everything from blankets and pillows to snacks to everything and just go camping, like in the middle of the day for fun. And so I'm a pink one of this, so I probably might not, I don't know, I might end up getting that. And then the next thing they got specifically for my toddler, or my two girls in mind, and that is this solar lantern. It's like a butterfly solar lantern. Now granted, we probably wouldn't get much use out of it out of this until the summer, but it is such a fun, fun lantern. It is solar powered, so no batteries. <laughs> but I do love this because the actual light that it projects is butterflies and little insects, and I think it's beautiful, as you can tell. Now I know pictures can be deceiving, but I'm going to assume assume that this is as beautiful as it looks in the pictures, but it is something that my kiddos would probably absolutely love, especially in the summer. So another thing I have favorited, and I have honestly have never tried these, but that is aqua beads. It's like an arts and crafts little, this one in particular is like an ocean life kit. And I thought about doing this, they're like little beads and they hold together by putting water on them. I'm pretty sure that's the concept, but. So my next gift idea is actually called the Drama Planet Flower Craft Kit. And this is such a really, really fun idea. My kiddos, like I said, love clay, love sculpting things. But I liked this because they can sculpt kind of their own flower bouquet on top of like actually painting the flower vase. And I thought it was a really fun combination of kind of combining their favorite things, which is like, of course, flowers, nature, and painting, and arts and crafts, and like everything that they love, especially my kindergartner. So I had that favorited. And then another thing that I thought honestly about saving this and putting it in like my stocking stuff for favorites because it is only $5.99. And I say only because it is expensive for what it is, but it's only $5.99, so it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> but this is something very, very simple. Anyway, it is a chicken notebook. If you are new here, we have chickens, and my kids love chickens and anything to do with them. So I thought this would be fun and a fun addition. And I don't necessarily know if I would do this as a Christmas thing. I might just get it as something to kind of just like add into our back to school type thing in January. But I just need to share because it's adorable if you like chickens. <laughs> okay, so my next thing is another pick for my first skater. And that is an antique brass poem compass with a little leather case. My kiddos, like I mentioned before, make believe they're camping all the time. And my little guy has these little cheap, little, you know, compasses that we'll either pick up at a thrift store or in that little camping set. That one is actually pretty decent quality anyway. But this one I thought was, it was definitely older looking. Well, literally it's older looking, but it's like an older kind of little boy thing instead of like a toddler toy. So I wanted to probably pick this up for him and the fact that it comes with its own little pouch, I think he would adore that because he likes fitting small things into small things and he just, that's his favorite thing. So on top of it being a compass, he loves compasses. He always uh, makes believe that they're lost out in the wilderness and they need to find their way back <laughs> with their compass. So I thought I did favorite that one. Another favorite one is this a lot fancy. It's a birdhouse kit. This is $14.99. I'm sorry I'm not mentioning all the prices. I should have. I'll have all the prices actually linked right next to the actual description. So if you just want to glance at the prices as you're watching this or something, it is there for you. Anyway, so I did like this DIY birdhouse. I like this better than the other than the other ones I've seen because this has a little front porch. You can actually put the little bird seed on the front there. So it's a combination birdhouse bird feeder. And I don't see a ton of things like that. So I wanted to see if I could get that one. And then my next one is actually a something, it was probably very strange to have as like a first grader kindergartner gift, but they would adore this. This is the plant terrarium with a little wooden stand. They're little glass bulbs. You can put water in them, put the roots in there, but you can actually visually see the roots grow. And I love that concept and idea. And even if it's honestly just growing herbs in the windowsill in the summer, because we have some windows that are like, has a ton of sunlight during the day, would be a fun activity for them to really see what they grow come to life and actually see the roots and everything. And it's really pretty, honestly, too, and I think they would like that. So, and then my next pick is actually something for all my kiddos, and this is actually a product that we use pretty much every other day, if not every other day, multiple times a week. But that is the Quick Stick Solid Paint Sticks. And we love these. I've used them, like I said, multiple, multiple times a week. And yeah, they're just a ton of fun. Now, I will go ahead and say that 
they do dry out fairly quickly if you do not put the lids on. If you do put the lids on, you can easily use the entire the entire paint stick without having an issue of them drying out. But do remember to put the lids on. So if you have little people, especially toddlers, you probably wanna save them for an activity that you do with them because like I said, they will dry out. So another game, and again, I have shared this game before on my channel multiple times, but it is the Guess in 10 game. And again, if you have little people who just love animals and learning about them, you quite literally just guess in 10. You have to try to give each other clues to try to name each other, like name animals and things like that. Just a fun thing. And then my next thing that I had in mind for my first grader as well is the, he loves Legos. He's hiding. He's getting into the phase of really, really enjoying Legos. So I did select this Lego creature, the three in one deep sea creatures but it has like a little shark I believe and then a little crab and so I thought they were adorable and then for my kindergartner I have favorited this Melissa and Doug wooden weaving loom I wanted to introduce her to the concept of actually a weaving and I thought this would be a fun activity now she's very very artsy kind of crafty little girl she is all about the arts and crafts and so I thought this would be such a fun addition to introduce her to so my next couple of items is actually a suggestion by a mama here who commented on my last video about small business top picks and she was suggesting that the next few items I'm going to tell you and I was so excited she did because these are beyond adorable. They are absolutely precious. <laughs> One of them is just a mouse in a matchbox and friends. This is so precious, like so, so cute. My little people, because they do like the little cre creatures and then like the little boxes they come in, I thought this was the most darling thing. And then also I wanted to thank her as well for reminding me because I have actually seen these before. I always either forget about them when I, it actually comes to shopping for gifts, but that is the calico critters. I think these are precious. The two that I do have in my wish list, one set is a hazelnut chipmunk family. So cute, they're chipmunks and oh my goodness, they're adorable. Again, right up my little people's alley. And then I also have favorited for my two-year-old the koala family, which is also so adorable as you can tell. And this is just something, like I said, is right up my little girl's alley. So thank you to the um, mama who suggested this. I really appreciate that because I forgot how cute they were. <laughs> And then another one that, again, I was actually gonna save this one for a stocking stuffer thing, um, but that is a set of like little bug clickers. They're quite literally, they just sound all kinds of like, you can make whatever bug sound you want with these little clickers. Like my kiddos have the bird calls, like the Toy Smith bird calls and things like that, but they don't have anything that makes bug sounds. So whether or not I actually get these or whether or not I actually regret it after I do purchase them, if I do, <laughs> we'll see. But I thought it was a really fun idea. Okay, moving on to my next gift idea. This is again a whole family idea, and that is the Sibley Backyard Birds matching game. It is a memory game, but I love these. I think they're beautiful. The tiles themselves are beautiful, but the quality is amazing as well. So it's not the it's not the type of cardboard that's gonna bend and break after like using it a couple of times. And because our family does like birds, and especially our kids love memory games, this is just a really, really fun one. Another one that again will probably end up in my stocking stuffer video, but I wanted to share it here because it is $6.99. So depending on what your budget is for a stocking, $6.99 is kind of pricey for a single item. Anyway, this is a group of wood favor, kind of graphite wooden tree, they're like rustic twig pencils. However, if you're breaking them up and putting them in multiple kids' stockings, it is a fantastic stocking stuffer idea. These little rustic tree pencils are adorable. I've actually had my eye on them for a few years and I actually have owned them and my kids adored them. So I might end up refilling their little supply, <laughs> but we'll see. The next pick is actually a 25 stamp little set and these are stamp bags. And I don't know if I've shared these on my channel before, but there always seems to be some type of a little bug stamp kit in my wish list, <laughs> I feel like. But I thought this was really sweet. So you can actually use a stamp, put it on paper, but then you, you yourself can actually draw the little legs around it. So the kiddos have the initial, the like the initial body of the insect on paper, but they can still feel like they're contributing to the design by using like drawing the little legs and everything. So I thought that was really, really sweet. Another thing that I had in my wish list, and the next couple things here are like two-year-old specific or my last handful, I should say. And that is a Montessori Toys, a 36 piece wooden stacking building blocks. Now I've had my eye on these type of things for quite a while, they're like little rocks. And I thought this would be a fun, fun activity for my two year old. It's great fine motor skills because it's not like a typical block where if you set the square blocks on top of a square block, they're pretty much stable. But these are definitely more challenging because they're like little boulder shapes. So she has got to find like the smooth surface in order to stack it. So I thought that would be a great, great activity for her. And then a few other toddler suggestions that, that I love. And one of them is this Montessori full size. It's like a little, I'll just insert pictures because the title on Am, the, all the titles on Amazon are very, very long. So 
but it's one of those little toys that you just stick the balls down and they roll down and then come out to the top. Now Love Every has one that is very, very similar to this, only this is obviously more affordable, but according to reviews, it is still very, very, a very good quality. My next pick for that one to two year old is this little carrot garden. My toddler, as I mentioned in my last video, loves bunnies, so anything to do with bunnies, whether it be carrots or the bunnies themselves, anything. So, and my kids love the story of Peter Rabbit. So this would be a fun thing, honestly, just for make believe, because they have a lot of little stuffed bunnies. So I think all of my kids would enjoy this. I know it is something so simple, but they would just love it. <laughs> I don't know why. I do have two more I wanted to share with you, and these are not within that $25 price range. However, they were on Amazon, and I have actually never seen these products or heard of them. So I wanted to share these with you. Again, they are well above that $25 mark, just so you know. Um, but the first one is actually this Pop Darts Pro Pack game set. It is $39.99. And it's a pack of like, yeah, these suction cup little dark that you can throw on the windows. <laughs> I know that sounds something so weird. My kids would love it. So, and I got this in mind for like during those winter days when you just want something fun to do or you need to get some energy out. They don't harm anything or anyone because they are soft. And so having something that they can just like pop on the windows, it would be fun. And then my two year old would just pop them off. And I think she would really like the sound that it makes as far as like the little, you know, when a suction cup comes off the pop, <laughs> you know, whatever. But I think that would be a fun pick. And then one thing that it is very, very expensive, but I wanted to share it with you because I have actually never seen it. And I'm curious if any of you guys actually own this and could comment down below if you enjoy it or if you like the quality, like what is it actually like? Because it is pricey for me to purchase. Granted, I do know I could return it, but still, this is a 42 piece, I believe it's Tegu Magnetic Wooden Block Set. I did not know they made magnetic wooden block sets. This one looks gorgeous. I like the colors of it first of all, but this is like regular planks. So you can really get the feel that you're building like an actual wooden structure without the actual heavy wooden blocks even though I adore the wooden blocks so I thought this would be a really really fun addition yes thank you well guys thank you so much for watching today's video I really appreciate you guys being here and just as a heads up from now till probably Black Friday I'm gonna be just sharing Christmas content so you guys can kind of get some ideas to know kind of like what to shop for if you are Black Friday shoppers anyway I am gonna be doing a top like books and book series favorites as far as like favorite books to gift coming up as well as kind of like our favorite stocking stuffers as well. So anyways, I am gonna try to get those two videos out this week so you, again, you can have those options before if you are a Black Friday shopper. So yeah, until then, I hope you guys have a great day whatever you're doing and God bless, bye.